In this video, we will show you how you can download Windows 10 from the official Microsoft website. The first setup is to type Windows 10 download in search bar. Then click on first link. By downloading this file, you can also create a bootable drive online. But we are going to show you how you can download ISO file. So you can create a bootable drive offline at any time. So follows these setups to download the ISO file. Right click on any space, then select inspect. Then near the setting, you can see three dots. Click on these, select more tools, and then select network conditions. Under the bottom tab, the network conditions will be open. Scroll down, as you can see, that user agent is selected as the use browser default. Uncheck it. Click on custom. Scroll down and select Safari iPad iOS. Then refresh the browser. Now you can see that we have different options available. Select the addition. In our case, it is November 2021 update. So we are selecting the Windows 10 and then click on confirm. Now select your product language. We will select English International as we use English International. But if you want, you can select English USA. After selecting the language, click on confirm and you can see that there are two downloadable links. You can either download 32-bit or 64-bit. My PC has 64-bit, so I am downloading the 64-bit. Click on download. After downloading the Windows ISO file, the next software you need is Rufus. Search Rufus in search bar. Click on the first link. Scroll down and download any of these versions. Click on download. After downloading, you can directly open it by clicking on the open button or you can open the location folder. Double click on it. In our case, for some security reason, our video recorder has not recorded the tab that was asking for permission. But you will need to click on yes. Then select the device. Right now we have not inserted any device. So we are going to insert the device. After inserting the USB drive, the USB drive will be selected automatically. If there are multiple USB drive, inserted into PC, then you have to select the relevant one. After selecting the relevant USB drive, you will need to select the ISO file. So click on select, go to the folder location where the ISO file is located. In our case, we have moved the ISO file to the OS folder. But in your case, the ISO file might be in the download folder. Select the ISO file. After selecting the ISO file, select the partition scheme. As you can see that there are two types of partition schemes, MBR and GPT. If you select the wrong partition scheme, then the windows will be not installed. For example, if you select the MBR, but your PC's partition scheme is GPT, then it will be not installed. Same as for if you select the GPT and your PC partition scheme is MBR, then it will be also not installed. How you can check whether your PC partition scheme is MBR or GPT? To check this, search create and format a disk partition and select this option. If virtualization is enabled on your computer, then it may take some time in connecting to the virtual disk service. 
after connecting something like this will be open now you can see that we have three disks disk 0 disk 1 and disk 2 we want to install windows on disk 0 so right click on disk 0 select properties select volumes and you can see that my partition scheme is MBR. Click on OK, close the tab and select the partition scheme. And then click on start. A warning tab will be open that it will say all data on the device whatever the name of your device is will be destroyed to continue this option click on ok to quick click cancel you have to click on ok click on ok and it will take some time depending on your usb drive speed to create a bootable drive In our case, it took 13 minutes and 34 seconds. Close the tab and your bootable USB drive is ready to go. You might be thinking that how we can download Windows 11. So let us tell you, you don't need to download the Windows 11 ISO file. To use Windows 11, you need to update the Windows 10. How you can update this? Just search update in search bar and click on the check for updates here you can see that our pc does not meet the minimum requirements to run windows 11 but if your system meets the minimum requirements to run windows 11 then there will be an option to update click on update after updating you can use windows 11 thank you so much for watching this video if you face any difficulties while making a bootable drive, then feel free to ask in comment section and we will be happy to help. If you want us to create a bootable drive online, then also let us know and we will be happy to create another video for you. In the next video, we are going to show you how you can install Windows 10 on a PC. So please stay connected with us. and. Goodbye for now.